Salutations and good morrow everyone and welcome back to another patron update video where today we're going through and we're going to be going over the modding page on the workshop for patron as well as how to apply mods and mod your game for patron to make it the best possible game that you guys could want and she's pointing out a couple of my favorite mods that have come out so far. Now I do want to point out that the modding has only been around for a few days but the fact that we already have 24 mods that are in the game is pretty impressive and I cannot wait to see what the modding community does to patron and I'm hoping they do the same thing like they did for banished so uh, before we hop in any further I want to invite you guys to like comment and subscribe but let's go over and let's talk about one some of the mods that we could find but first let's talk about how to mod so what you need to do in order to mod your game in patron is you need to come into the workshop so you click on the game you go to library you find your game you click on the workshop tab right there you come over here and here's your list of mods okay if you see these right here these are the most popular ones but what you want to do is you want to click on see all 24 patron mods and it'll bring you through and it'll show you all of them then all you have to do is each one has a little plus sign on it you could click on that to subscribe to it or you could click on it and then it'll open it up you'll be able to read a little bit more on it and then subscribe as well what I would suggest you guys do is go through and read some of the comments be a little careful right now because some of them are a little spammy um, but you want to go through and you want to read those comments and make sure that it's not a broken mod but go through subscribe find out all the information that you want and then you'll open up patron as a game and I'll show you guys how to apply them. So right here I have patron already open and you'll see that here's your opening screen. You go right over here to mods. We have a DLC button, but for right now let's click on mods and you'll see the two that I have activated. In order to activate the mods in your game, they will come over to you like this. Okay, they will come out like little gray squares right here. You want to click on the boxes to make sure that they're applied and then you want to press apply. Once they're applied, it will go back to the screen telling you that they are fully applied and they're going to click play to actually play your game. Now I'm going to launch patron here and while we're launching patron show you guys what mods I chose, I'm going to go through and show you guys off a couple other mods that are within the community right now that you guys could click on and get for yourself. So some of these are a little game breaking. Some of them are a little bit um i don't want to say not needed but for me it feels a little cheesy to have these ones and that's going to be stuff like um this storage wars one that's right here the storage wars mod this one triples your storage capacity uh that would make it so my game right now that I've spent 10 in your in-game years um, playing uh, that has 72,000 storage spots would have 210,000 storage spots or more. Um, and that is a little crazy for me. I don't know if I if I would like that with the small amount of warehouses I have. It feels a little game breaky. Uh, there's some other ones in here like uh, these better houses one. It looks like that this house would be cool and it looks like it should get added. I don't know if this house is actually in the game because I don't have it added, but it just says houses are cheaper, require less maintenance and upgrade further, decreasing firewood consumption. So what I'm assuming is uh, what that means. Thank you, Chad Gamer, for making this one is that you don't get this house, but when you build your houses, they will they're cheaper to build they require less maintenance so they require less food and fire fuel and all of that um, and also they upgrade further decreasing the firewood consumption rate even further so you know how you have insulation in the game it's going to reduce it even more uh, let's go back and look at a couple more you have improved farming which makes it so you can farm up to 50 by 50 tiles holy crap um so and then we could go through, we have bountiful yield. So crops and orchards produce 10 times more frequent growth. So really, I mean, this one plus this one could mean just a massive amount of, um, of food that's being produced by you uh, going through. You have national flags. That one's really cool that that one got added. Uh, Dutch to make it so you can actually get the game in Dutch. Um, cargo ports, that's just adding more space. Um, text files, a few things to upgrade some of the text in there like decorational gets corrected to decorative. Um, and then even like cheaper bridges and stuff like that. There's another game breaking one called mansion down here. When you finally get to use two story houses, you can build a mansion and it gives you 30 housing slots, which is a ton for one house, especially seeing though it only looks like the two story house and the two story house is not that big, but to have 30 people living there and you get 120 gold per worker, this would be a crazy, crazy, crazy um, amount of uh, people living in one place. It does require the Gentry Guild House to be built, which is, 
hard to build in the game but even still uh, all these mods going through will help with different things and you can go through and read through all of them for yourself i have no idea adds the name geoff to the game okay i don't that's cool but yeah so there's all sorts of really cool mods in here we'll go over the two that i went ahead and got that's right here uh this darker ui and then grow force grow when i uh, open up my game Okay, so here we are in my game that I've spent 10 in-game years building this little town, and it has built out to be quite the impressive town here. But, the mods that I'm currently using, you'll see that one is already in practice here, but if I go through and I just start clicking on some stuff here, and we just open up all sorts of really cool things here, what you'll see is that my UI is now a little bit darker, and it has, uh, and it's also a little bit more see-through, which I really like because the only thing that felt a little bit broken in my mind was the fact that I didn't have as much visibility of my game um, now with housing shortage. Uh-oh, I gotta fix that, but... I didn't have as much visibility because menu screens felt like they were just getting in the way because I couldn't see through them. Now I can see through them, so now I'm not having that problem. Another thing that I added to my game that I thought was not a game-breaking mod, but we definitely needed, was an upgrade to the Forester's Hut. Because if you guys look at my resources here, I have played this game, this, this save is probably about three and a half, four hours of me playing this game on ten times speed. Um, and... The one thing I constantly run out of is wood. Out of everything else, I have an abundance of every other resource besides wood. Even with two fully working, fully upgraded forester's huts, I was running out of wood. But to see what it actually does for you, let's click over to this forestry hut so you guys can see that my production has bumped up to 432 a year. That is an impressive amount of wood that's being cut, as well as the radius is significantly improved as well. So you're able to farm a lot more. I mean, my efficiency is now 228% and we are producing a lot of wood now. So that's why I went through and decided that those mods were going to be the best for my gameplay uh, without making the game too broken for say but uh, there are a couple other things that I want to point out as well when it comes to modding your game as a special warning to everybody first off watch out for trolls uh, trolls will go through and they will load bad mods to the modding community be careful that's why I told you guys to read those reviews and watch for star ratings it's only been out for three days the modding community has only been at work for three days so you're not going to get as many reviews at the moment but be careful for trolls out there that are going to be building bad mods for your game that could just crash and break it be also aware that not every mod is going to work with other mods in the game you're going to want to go through and make sure uh, as we had to in like banished or skyrim or any other of those games that have a fantastic modding community you want to go through and make sure that you're not downloading mods without reading through them and making sure that you're getting all the other required mods that could go into it as well. So be careful when going through and just installing everything. I wouldn't suggest going through and just subscribing to every single thing on there and going through and checking every single thing and seeing what happens to your game because it could very well break everything. So I would suggest you guys go and check that one out as well. Um, but guys, that is modding inside of Patreon. I'm super happy that they added it to the game because mods really do bring these city builder as games like banished or now patron uh to a whole new level when it comes to um a city builder game so thank you for adding mods and thank you to all the creators that have gone through and added mods already if you guys would like me to review more mods let me know down in the comments make sure you guys subscribe don't forget to hit that like button and as always i'll see all of you guys in the next one